How's it going, guys? Welcome to Gintama, episode 9. Last time we had a butt afro. Kondo being obsessed with Shinpachi's sister. Uh, Gintoki being upset that the main character spotlight could be stolen out from under him. And cheating in the end, which was pretty great. It was a ridiculous episode and it was really fun. So... Once again, literally anything could happen, so I hope for more ridiculous, over-the-top, goofy bullshit. Um, let's see. We're going to watch it. If you want to see the discussion, the time code is in the description to skip to it. Also down there is a link to the Patreon, which you can join if you want to get these videos a week early. See the next episode already. Actually, several episodes ahead since I do these two a week. But anyway, it's fighting should be done with fists. Who are we fighting? Don't know. But let's get into it. Three, two, one, play. Yep, the furry butt. Which I am curious to see. I want to know the extent of it. We'll see if he just loves her forever now. And is always after her. He doesn't really seem to do much of his, like, job. He's off doing other shit. You were too trusting, and that was your downfall. You couldn't call it heroic. But you could call it clever. And unexpected, and I liked it. So I, since we had that little recap there, you don't usually get that. So are we continuing that? Are we going to see more of him? Wanting like a rematch? No swords this time. No chance of sabotage. So that's why it's called fighting should be done with fists. Could be. Like I said, I like not knowing what's going to happen, and it could be any random story about any kind of alien. But if we're going to continue where the last episode left off, that's also unexpected. I didn't expect to get more of him. thought, uh, you know, he'll pine after her from time to time in random episodes throughout. But if we continue that right now, okay. And we still haven't met Ninja Girl yet. So here we go. So they are looking for him. Because of what happened. Okay. I did not expect a continuation. That's cool. He got shot down and lost a fight. So now they're looking for Gentoki. Somebody has a job for them too. So it's not just Hijikata that he has a problem with? Or he did it to then blame Hijikata? I don't know what his deal is. Is that a private mat? I guess it is. It's related to your your boss, but you know. Oh, hey. God damn. That's not Seppuku, by the way. You're about to kill him. <laughs> They'll be upset when they find out he cheated. Of 
I don't know if they'd go after him regardless. I doubt it. So I guess I guess they don't know. They don't know the details. They don't know how he lost. He probably doesn't want to admit it. Although, would they look down on him for falling for that? Or would they say that, oh, you know, you were honorable and he wasn't? And he belched. Are you going to do it too? Yep. Even the straight man. The hell is this guy? What's happening? Rock, paper, scissors? What? <laughs> What's going on? What is like with the... D His lips look so weird. <laughs> no, you're not! <laughs> why, why did she say that she was Goku? <laughs> That's the funniest... That's the funniest joke in the entire show so far. Why did she say she was Goku? He didn't say that. <laughs> okay. Yeah. And now this is happening. <laughs> like, that'd be so funny if characters just randomly introduced themselves as characters from other series. If that was a running gag. Oh, hey, I'm Luffy. Hi. That was just so unexpected. Hi, I'm Goku. I was like, what the fuck? Especially since, like, her race is clearly very similar to Saiyans. But even still, I was like, what? Whoa. T tone down the name. Also not, not correct. It's his point of view. From his point of view, like, it's, like, pretty fied, but not completely. Like, he didn't imagine himself with hair on top of his head. He imagined himself more attractive, but not as much as he could have. I That's what I said at the beginning. I said it looked like they were going to do rock, paper, scissors. All right, get him, Goku. That was so fucking funny. <laughs> she just, why did she say she was Goku? <laughs> Holy shit. Paper. <laughs> yeah, paper. What's his hand? Oh shit, well, this escalated quickly. <laughs> Though that stance. Okay. <laughs> what? What? They didn't even play. What is happening? What? Crab? What is this? What are you doing? What is it? Family? Family is the true win, like, win state? It's all about family and love and that beats all? What just happened? Are they? 
think he's gonna leave. Okay, he just picked. He's <laughs> excited. Goku? Does he like Gin's plan best, or did he just pick at random? Because he trusts him the most? Because he has a sword? Alright, bye. I don't think you need them <laughs> that frequent. This is how you do it. You don't put out like wanted posters with a picture. Just, hey, come to us, please. Meanwhile, he's going to be doing this, and they'll just happen to not find him. Oh, okay. I don't get it. Must be some kind of joke there that I don't get. Some kind of Japanese pun. Okay, there's nothing there. Yeah, he's just gonna be here doing this and they're not gonna find him. There they are, right there. Oh, nice. Yeah, he's just gonna accidentally evade them. Oops. Are you gonna go do something yourself? Okay, go for it. I don't think it's technically assassination. Oh, I guess you could just do that. Bra what the fuck is this? Yeah, just get some random guy and frame him. It's fine. Just do that. Solid. What the hell? I don't know who that is, but okay. But yeah, different looking than you think. Um, yeah, what a honorable police force. Just bring in a random dude. Just go kill a white-haired dude. Or Whatever. Well, you already met him before. And yeah, Gintoki's sword is fine. His wooden sword, so I don't... Seems fine. Unless it was a different one. Uh, really? Okay. I don't know if these are puns or if it's just they're incompetent and they're finding wrong samurai. Like right down the street. It's building shit. Kind of. That was a really weak hit. Ladies, four. Again, I want to see some of these shows.
What? Okay. He admires him, doesn't want everybody knowing the humiliation. Despite being an idiot, he has his good qualities. Dog. Sadomaru the third? And which which butt? Whose butt? What just happened? Well, um... <gasps> Took it off. Okay, I honestly thought that the entire episode might go by without ever resolving this. But no, they found him. Mm-hmm. Do you remember? Who the fuck's Ogushi? Who is this? Okay, Ogushi. <laughs> Yep, that's a that's a shonen protagonist thing, not knowing who the hell people are. Not remembering someone. <laughs> but usually they don't say that. You think most would? Wow. Rooftop fight, let's do it. With our fists, I guess. There you go. So you think you can take him? Tossing him a sword, huh? You remember that, right? Okay. Not with fists. I'd like to know more about that. How he did such a thing. Of course. Was that supposed to make you think, like, oh, she senses a fight happening? But no, just time for the show. Well then, some bright-ass blood. Um, yeah. So you did hear the details. Well, he had prep time.
I don't know if he has any reason to want to fight you. I don't know if he'll do it. I think he's going to drop the sword, maybe. No? I'm just thinking about the episode title. Fighting should be done with fists, so I keep waiting for them to get rid of the swords. So I'm like, is he going to not use it? But we keep using the swords. <laughs> Didn't attack him, though. Just the sword. Now, fisticuffs. Okay. Yeah, he didn't have a reason to fight you. He's like, I don't know. What? You did, but he didn't. He was fighting Kondo for a reason. He was protecting his status as main character. There was no fist fighting. There was there was none. Well, at least he respects the guy who defeated him. Well, okay. Dispute is kind of settled between him and the Shinsengumi. And we get more of the class. So let's skip the uh, ED and see uh, what we're gonna learn in class. And next time we get to meet the dog, finally. Okay. We're actually getting some kind of lesson. I was actually just wondering about that in the episode. I was thinking about that earlier, their ages. Okay, whoa! Okay, hi there. For a long time, until the time you were old enough to fight to two. Fight two. I honestly thought they just wouldn't answer it. And would be like, don't, don't, don't worry about it, it's fine. And his age would just be a mystery forever. Okay, so yeah. The struggle went on for a long time, and he joined it towards the end. Yeah. How dare you. How dare you, Onishi? On to the discussion. All right, episode nine of Gintama. This one actually continues the story of episode eight, which I wasn't expecting. I always talk about how it's fun to go into a new episode of Gintama because I don't know what's gonna happen. It could be pretty much anything at all. And even here, I had no idea that it would possibly continue the story of episode eight. So even though once it started, I was like, okay, I understand the general track we're on here, continuing from that. At the very beginning, it was a huge surprise that we were continuing that rather than focusing on some other weird random thing, because last time was one of the weirdest episodes, and uh, I didn't expect it to just continue. But the Shinsengumi, because of Kondo's defeat, they want revenge against the silver, wavy-haired samurai, Gintoki, and they go out looking for them, for him. And it's good because we learn how important Kondo is to them, which I, I think it's a good thing that we continued the plot of Episode Eight because of that, rather than just they see that he got beaten and humiliated and then we just move on to something else with no mention of it. 
to show that he actually matters to them, specifically, seemingly especially to Hijikata. We don't know all the details, and I would really like to, to know more about all of them and how they came to be together and whatnot. But it's talking about how he built the Shinsengumi up into what it is, and how he helped them all in the past, and how he's important to them, and how Hijikata respects him. <laughs> Despite uh, him often going off and doing other shit that's not his job, and I think Hijikata and maybe Okita are the only ones who know the details that he was kind of humiliated rather than just straight up beaten. But yeah, it's good to see that they are loyal to him and that they want to go defend his honor and whatnot. On their actual quest to go find Gintoki, like most of the middle of the episode, I wasn't really into. I, I didn't. I, that was kind of boring just because I don't think I understood half the jokes. I don't know if it was a Japanese thing. But they kept finding, like, other samurai. Like, they would go into a place and, like, a samurai eating rice or a samurai getting a haircut. And I I feel like that's a Japanese thing. I feel like there's some pun in Japanese where they mistook, you know, silver hair for some other word. I think? Or it was just totally random. I, I don't know. I was confused. I was like, okay, they're finding other people who are, like, not similar at all. Okay, and what Gintoki was doing the whole time wasn't funny either. He was just like being a construction worker and it was pretty normal and they just like they missed him like one time or a couple times. I thought I thought it'd be funny if they just never found him. But yeah. Just kind of them going around looking for him and I didn't really get a lot of it. And then him just kind of doing normal stuff. The middle of the episode kind of dragged. I did like when Okita was just like, hey, why don't we just find a random white-haired dude and convict him. Continuing to comment on the corruption of the police, apparently. But other than that, uh, the beginning and the end were good. I just thought that the middle wasn't really my favorite part of the show so far. I liked the rock, paper, scissors. It was pretty intense. It got pretty violent. I think, like, literally my favorite thing that has happened in the entire show so far is when Kagura introduced herself as Goku. It was just so unexpected, and I was like, what the fuck? <laughs> it was like, hey, I'm Goku. I just didn't see it coming, because there's obviously a connection between her race and Saiyans. They, they are very similar, but even beyond that, just, it's like, hey, I'm Shinpachi, and then she's just suddenly, hi, I'm Goku, and I just, I didn't expect it, and it was good, but that whole sequence was bizarre, and... They can hear each other's thoughts, and they're like, oh, this bad acting, and we're gonna get cancelled, and all the meta shit, and then shadow puppets and finger puppets, and I'm like, what do you think you're doing? What do you think this is with rock, paper, scissors? So that was good, and then the fight at the end was pretty expected and typical for the show so far, but it was still good when Hijikata challenges Gintoki. But of course he doesn't fight back, he just breaks his sword, even though he got pretty badly injured and there was a good amount of blood there he didn't fight back because he just he had nothing to fight for he had no reason to be fighting hijikata and that's what he explained to him and he just broke his sword and went on his way and kondo okita and hijikata are impressed by him so you know that's pretty much expected uh from everything we've seen so far of him changing and impressing his enemies with his worldview and way of life so yeah it's basically what i thought would happen Mostly, but, you know, it was still good. I thought they would drop the swords, because the episode is called uh, Fighting Should Be Done With Fists, so I kept waiting for there to be a fist fight, and him to be like, oh, let's drop the swords and just fight it out, and it never happened. I don't know why it was called that. Is it because of the rock, paper, scissors? <laughs> is that the fighting that should be done with fists? Uh, I guess, maybe. I also like how their client, his view of himself... He imagined himself, like, younger and more handsome and with flowing hair, but he still didn't have hair on top of his head. Like, if you're gonna have a false view of him, of yourself, go all out. Like, it was weird. It was funny how it was this enhanced view of himself, yet still grounded somewhat in reality. He's like, no, I know I don't have hair on top of my head. I'm not, I'm not delusional. <laughs> That was kind of funny. And I actually really liked the after credit scene with the teacher part, because it was actually kind of serious this time. It was like a legitimate question corner thing explaining something about the lore, which I had been thinking about earlier in the episode. For whatever reason, I had started thinking about Gintoki's age and the fact that he had participated in the war, and then that is addressed. So maybe they were like, hey, maybe people are actually going to be thinking that around this exact time, because 
I was. But yeah, they basically explained that even though the Amato War began 20 years ago, it lasted for a long time, and Gein only joined it towards the end. So he's not, like, super old or anything. Um, which I think it would have been funny if they just kind of never addressed it. If they never addressed his age, or his age made no sense. But that's good to have an explanation and just to have that in there. So, uh, yeah, not one of my favorite episodes. I, I like the beginning and the end. But the end was, you know, pretty typical and expected. And the middle, I was just kind of like... I wasn't, like, bored or disliking it or anything. I was just kind of like, you know, nothing really super funny or engaging. Because I, I didn't really follow the jokes with the Shinsengumi, with the random samurai they were finding. And Gein wasn't really doing anything funny. He was just hammering some nails and shit. So, uh, yeah, I, I am glad that it followed the end of episode 8, and we got a bit more resolution to that, and learned a little about Kondo and how the Shinsengumi view him, but just not one of my favorite episodes as a whole. So, uh, yeah, that's about it. If you have anything you want to say about the episode, we can talk about it in the comments below. If uh, people liked it more than me, I'd be, I'd be curious to hear your thoughts on it. But thank you for watching. If you enjoyed the video, leave a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you want to see more like it and share the video with other people that might enjoy it as well. And check out the Patreon if you want to get these videos early and extra rewards and all that. And I appreciate it and thank you and I'll see you next time.